Hello, and welcome back to my new player series for Warframe. Today we're looking at Volt, a very shocking Warframe. I will be showing you his mod setup, his abilities, how they synergize, and how they work on level 30 enemies. Afterwards, I'll be showing you a full mod setup and how they work on higher level enemies that you might be facing later in the endgame. Moving on, we have Volt's abilities. His passive is Grounded Movement generates an electrical charge building up to 5 damage per meter that is unleashed for the next attack. This stacks up to 1000 damage, and once you use one of your abilities like Shock or Discharge, it'll be expunged, dealing extra damage based on how many stacks you've had accumulated. Volt's first ability is Shock. It's a very simple single target nuke that can chain up to 5 enemies at base range and every target will take the same amount of damage as the first. It's good for crowd control and decent amount of damage, but doesn't scale too well in the late game. So here's Shock. As you can see, it stuns the enemies and they can't move. Bolt's second ability is Speed. If you wanted to be Usain Bolt on drugs, this ability is for you. With enough ability strength, you can go super super fast like Sonic. This also increases your attack speed, reload speed, and of course, movement speed. With enough duration, it can last upwards of 30 seconds, so this isn't going anywhere if you have enough of that. This is Volt Speed. Makes him go incredibly fast for about 10 seconds with the mods I have equipped currently. Volt's third ability is Electric Shield. He deploys an obstacle of energy, providing cover in any situation. What this does is it blocks projectiles and bullets, as well as buffing his own bullets and projectiles. You can also pick up the shield and carry it around with you, so you don't have to leave it in one place so it's not wasted. We have a shield, which also can stack. It also does additional damage. As you can see, it does electric damage. Last but not least, we have Discharge, which paralyzes nearby hostiles with a damaging electric charge and shocks nearby approaching enemies. This ability is fantastic. It does plenty of damage, has a high range, does high damage, and stuns enemies that come near you. Depending on how you build your Volt, this, can, this stun can last upwards of 10 seconds deal upwards of 3,000 or more damage, and can take only 50 energy. And finally, we have Overcharge. That does plenty of damage. No, that's a lot of damage! Killing most of the heavy gunners in one fell swoop. Here are Volt's mods. We have Flow for additional energy max, Vitality for additional health, which is very needed, Streamline for additional efficiency, Intensify for additional strength, and Stretch for additional range. Flow and Streamline work very well in unison to give you additional energy and efficiency, so you can cast your abilities much more often, and with a frame like Volt, where he relies on his ability to stay alive and deal damage, you're going to want both of these mods. Now the rare mods might be a little tough to get if you're a newer player, but veterans in region chat may be able to help you. And now I will show you Volt with a fully modded kit and what he can do against level 100 enemies. So here we have his shock. So it does about the same thing. The damage is a little low, unfortunately. You have a speed, but with a bunch more power strength, because why the heck not? And you can just marathon all over the place. Too fast, too fast
Extra damage. And finally, we have Discharge. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that much damage against Grenier or Armor type units. So I will show you what a Bolt can do against Flesh type units. So here we have nine elite crewmen. And if I cast Discharge, all of them will pretty much die. The ones that don't are gravely wounded and can be finished off very easily. Just like that. In the end, Volt is an excellent Warframe suited for a whole host of content, be it offense or defense. If you're on the fence, I'd recommend getting him. Now, he isn't the greatest at doing things that other frames could do, do sometimes. If you want pure damage, you would still go Saren or Octavia, and if you want utility, you would still go, you'd still go Trinity. You know, those frames are always going to be best in their respective fields. But Volt still has a place, and this place is shocking the hell out of enemies until they can't move anymore. And he does a damn good job at it. So, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.